Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, listen, I just upgraded my diesel heater and I'm really excited about how this is working. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, I didn't say replace my diesel heater. I have a Chinese diesel heater. I upgraded it with a product called an afterburner. And it's basically a programmable device that allows you to, well, here's a scenario, okay? One of the things lithium batteries do, if you're running lithium batteries, is they're not very good in the cold. And so the protection devices are designed so that they'll shut them off. Well, when they shut them off, you have no lights, <laughs> um, your water could freeze. And I don't know about you, I'm not on the road full time yet, I'm trying to get there, but I still like to winter camp. And so it's a pain in the butt to, you know, if I go, you know, once a month, twice a month to drain the water tanks, put water back in the water tanks or not even use that system because it's winterized. And the other thing, again, the batteries, I'm trying to protect my batteries. That's a pretty big investment. <laughs> so this thing, what it does is it attaches to your diesel heater, not all diesel heaters. So you're going to have to see if your diesel heater is compatible um, with this device. But, well, here it is. It's called the afterburner. And right now, outside, it's 27 degrees. And I set it up last night with a frost mode. And basically what it is, is it's designed to turn on at a certain temperature before my batteries turn off, heat the inside of the camper up, and then turn itself off and it worked flawlessly and i've worked it a couple times testing it to make sure the only thing you have to make sure of is that you have enough diesel but it also has a protection feature for your fuel so you put in how much fuel you have it goes until it reaches that fuel amount and it will not reignite so it protects it from running out of fuel and you having to reprime it and all those kinds of issues. So there's some other really cool features on this thing too uh, that I wanted to bring up. Um, you can set timers like for the entire week of different days and they can be turned so that they continually run each day throughout the entire month. I mean, however you wanna set it up. Um, it has altitude adjustment. So if you're traveling and going back and forth in altitude, so you get the cleanest burn, so you keep the combustion chamber from getting really dirty and then having to clean it. And it has a feature called a GPIO function. And that's an upgrade part of it. But what it does is it allows you to run your own triggers. So you could run a, a dry thermostat contact and actually have a thermostat on the wall that you adjust. Um, you could run relays. Um, you can run a switch like by your fuel tank if your fuel tank your diesel fuel tank is outside you can run a switch right to it so you push the button and that will automatically do a reset instead of having to do it from the control box um, reset your fuel um, capacity so that it knows when to turn off when it gets back down to protect the unit um, so this thing is really um, pretty cool and you can add different functions to make it work for your system. So let's go outside, let's see this thing in action. Um, it's not the greatest video, uh, but I'm just trying to get it while it's running so that you have an idea of how the, at least the frost mode works. All right, let's go. So you can see we got a little bit of a snow dust last night and that was perfect for this to get a really nice test. So as we step in, we will show you the unit sitting on that wood panel back there, get a little bit closer shot for you. And you can hear the heater running. It's working really well, doing what I want it to do. 
Here's the unit itself. And this replaces the LCD screen that it comes with and has all the functions available from this unit. It can also hook up to Wi-Fi. Um, so if you're running a hotspot, you'll be able to use that. One thing important to note here, this is the temperature that I just showed from my batteries directly. This is the temperature from the unit. There is a discrepancy in those two. So what I've done is I've adjusted the thermostat on the afterburner to a higher temperature. Um, like say it comes on at 43 degrees, but the temperature is actually 33 but that works. And here you can actually see a more detailed function of all the features that they're running and how they're running, how much fuel it's using, how hot the combustion chamber is, um, pretty much just everything you need to know in detail uh, to adjust it. This here is my frost mode, and this is actually the temperatures that I have it set at. So there at. you have it, guys. I, I hope that uh, you enjoyed that a little bit, maybe gave you some information, uh, maybe an option to upgrade your diesel heater. Just on a side note, before I was using this, I was using a oil-filled electric heater. My electric bill went up double during those two months. So this is gonna make a huge difference. And um, I'm gonna be able to keep water in there, keep it stocked, ready to go, not have to even worry about food getting too cold or any of those issues. So um, again, hope you found this informative. Please like, subscribe. I'm gonna try to give you more information uh, when I find something that I think is worthwhile. This is not sponsored. I did purchase this. And right now they are on back order and it is out of um, somewhere in Europe, I believe, to get these. There is only one company that makes them. There is a knockoff. Um, I have heard nothing but issues with the knockoff. And the Afterburner, one that I have, also has a Facebook group. And they are really helpful if you're having any issues. So I definitely recommend getting the real deal. Um, again, that's Afterburner. Take a look at it. Find it on the web. All right. Have a good one, guys. See you on the flip side.